Among the many things coming to us in patch 1.5, I'm sure you guys are most excited for the release of Isra. I'm just kidding guys, I know all of you guys are here because you are trying to save for Chinyang in patch 1.6 which is why in this video I will be breaking down all sources of income in detail from both a free to play and a spender's perspective. So jumping straight into it, you will be greeted with login rewards for both the first half and second half of 1.5 totaling 14 uni locks. Moving on, the new battle pass for 1.5 provides 2 uni locks completely free if you were to reach level 20 and 40 respectively. Next, we have the main event story where you can obtain 600 clear drops for story mode and an additional 600 clear drops for hard mode, totaling 1200 clear drops. Moving on to the event store, as usual, you'll be able to obtain two unilocks from it. But the side events are where the money lies, starting with the game news event rewarding you with 210 clear drops for clearing through the main story event, reunion of fire event, our usual 2.5D puzzle style event that gives you 240 clear drops, blazing RPS arena where you can get 210 clear drops for playing rock, paper, scissors with Yulu, as the Driven Snowfalls, which is basically Isra's story event rewarding you with an additional 240 clear drops, Lathos from the Attic, which is similar to our Miss Radio event previously, rewarding you with 60 clear drops on day 5, and lastly, Harvest Season event, which is essentially a login event that gives you an additional 240 clear drops. As for the other miscellaneous income, such as the compensation for maintenance, 1.6 livestream gift codes, web event, death broadcast rewards, and surveys, they total up to 900 clear drops, but this is based off CN, so potentially for us, we are expecting to get even more. Of course, the above mentioned are all the event-related income, so for our non-event-related income streams for the duration of the patch, we will get a total of 4,650 from the dailies, the weeklies, and the monthly sign-ins, assuming full attendance, so definitely log in every day for the duration of the patch if you're one of the sweet sweet clear drops. 10 additional uni locks also come from the bars counter shop that you definitely want to pick up. 1200 clear drops from the 2 limbo resets assuming full clears but if you're predicting they're not able to do so just minus 100 clear drops per stage you fail to clear. In total, a free to play player can expect to get at least 9,120 clear drops and 28 uni locks totaling to 78.66 pools, while a basic spender will obtain an additional 3,780 normal clear drops from the 42 days of Roaring Month and 5 uni locks from the Collector Jukebox totaling to 104 pools. Now, while less this seems like a lot of pools, it will all mean nothing if you were to spend it on a banner for a unit that is out to disappoint. Hence, definitely check out this video over here where I touch on the future units and my valuation of them. I'll see you guys over there. This is Koki Gachas, signing off.